Hey guys, it's Kaylee from K-Books and this is my book haul for the month of October. So due to the timing that I've got um, due to my new job um, for blogging and vlogging and things like that, I've decided instead of doing book hauls each week, I'm just going to leave it till the end of the month and do a whole month book haul. So this month I got quite a lot of books. Um, I'm, I got one review book, so I'm going to show you that one first. I got The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. Uh, this is a young adult contemporary book and it is from Headline Publishing and I got this through um, Book Bridget, which is a UK sort of thing like NetGalley, but you can get paperbacks as well. So I haven't read this yet, but I'm really, really looking forward to that. Okay, the rest of the books I got, I bought. So the first one I bought is The Year I Met You by Cecilia Ahern. This is an adult, chiclet, romance, women's fiction type book. Cecilia Ahern is one of my favourite authors of all time. Um, before I started blogging, before I started reading, like, a lot um, to blog, I didn't used to read all that much. And it was Cecilia's books that actually got me to love reading. So um, I got this, this is her new one, I haven't had a chance to read it yet but I'm really looking forward to it because I absolutely adore her books and it's the beautiful hardback. Um, because I got The Year I Met You I actually had all of Cecilia's books on um, paperback but to match with the new hardbacks that always come out now I tr was trying my best this month to find all of her books in hardback because the first couple only came out in paperback in the UK but I did manage to find them so I actually bought all of Cecilia's books again in hardback so I got P.S. I Love You so this is the limited edition UK hardback that's come out and it is so pretty it hasn't got a dust jacket that's just on the actual hardcover Rosie Dunn this is a US yeah, a US edition, and it is, um, it's been published under three names. Uh, in the UK, it's Where Rainbows End. Um, in the US, it was published on hardback as Rosie Dunn, but now is Love Rosie, um, which the movie's coming out really soon. I'm not a big fan of the cover, but I just really wanted it in hardback, and this was the only hardback that I could find. If you could see me now. I have read all of these, by the way. Um, this is also a US edition. I actually really love this cover because it's a really important scene in this book. I adore this book. Um, so yeah, I really love that cover. There's No Place Like Here, which was the fourth book. I love this one too. Uh, this one is actually published as um, A Place Called Here in the UK, but this is the US edition. US hardback. It's so pretty. <clears throat> the Gift by Cecilia Ahern. This is the UK Christmas hardback, which I love. The Book of Tomorrow, um, which is also a UK hardback that I managed to find. I love this cover. Thanks for the memories. I believe this is a US or a Canada edition of this one, which is the same cover as the UK cover, but in hardback, so that's the only difference. So I loved all of these books, they're fantastic. How to Fall in Love, um, this is the UK hardback, this one. 100 Names. And finally, The Time of My Life, which is also a UK hardback. So they are all adult books, they are all women's fiction, romance type of books. So now I'm going to show you the other books that I bought. I bought Black Ice by Becca Fitzpatrick. I love this cover. Um, this is a young adult book and it is a thriller mystery, I think. 
I don't read a lot of thrillery books because I don't find them that interesting but I loved Becca Fitzpatrick's other books so I really wanted to give this one a go and I recently read a young adult thriller that I loved um, which was Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout so I'm more willing to sort of give them a go now. Um, the next one I'm going to show you about um, is a trilogy that I ordered. Um, it is A Beautiful Dark by Jocelyn Davis. This is a young adult paranormal series. So that's book one. A Fractured Light which is book two. And A Radiant Sky which is book three. I'm really looking forward to finally starting the series because I've heard such amazing things about it. So I'm really happy that I have all three so I can just read them all together. The next one I bought was The Queen of Zombie Hearts by Gina Showalter. This is a young adult um, book and it's kind of like a fairy tale retelling as it's um, a series that retells or has a twist on Alice in Wonderland. Um, this is book three, the final book in the White Rabbit Chronicles. I have already read it and it is absolutely fantastic. I would recommend this book to absolutely everybody. I also got Luminosity by Stephanie Thomas. This is the first book in the Raven Chronicles. And I have this on my Kindle, but I haven't read it yet. But Amazon had this for like pound or something for the paperback so I really couldn't help but order that paperback because it's so pretty. The next book that I got is The Jewel by Amy Ewing. This is a young adult dystopia and I absolutely adore dystopia. Um, I actually got an e-arc of this um, from Edelweiss but um, I saw it on special on Amazon and I absolutely love this UK cover. That I just had to buy it so I'm really happy to now have a paperback for my lovely shelves um, yeah and the final two I got this month it's Black City by Elizabeth Richards this is a young adult dystopia um, series I love dystopia books and I'd actually lent Black City off a friend but just never got around to reading it so I actually sent her it back and ordered Black City and the second book Phoenix. I love these covers. Um, the third book is now out but it's only in hardback so I'm kind of waiting for the paperback so I can get them um, all to match um, but I'm really looking forward to finally starting that series. So that's all I got this month so um, join me next at the end of November for the books I get in November. Thanks for watching!